Ooh, bruh, it smells like booty. <laughs> like a fragranced fart. Hello everyone, my name is Sandra and thank you so much for tuning in. All right y'all, so the last of my little mystery Ipsy bags for now have finally come in and we got three this time. These bags are super freaking cute. I think I'll save this one for last because it's just so different, it's just different. I'm gonna go with this pink first. So far we've been hitting, okay? We've been hitting, but I will say this. If I get another damn hand cream, if I get another hand cream and it's sealed, I'm not gonna open it. I'm gonna pass it along to somebody else because I got too many hand creams. I don't have enough hands for all these hand creams. Let's go ahead and look at this bag. It is super freaking cute. Like I love this like see-through. It's perfect for if you're like going to the beach. That way it doesn't like hold the moisture in, it dries out. And look at that, that is so pretty. It just says love. I love this, it's like so soft and squishy. Let's get into this bag and see what do we got. See what we got, what we got in this bag. Let's just see. This first thing is by Estate and it is called Going Nutty and it is a pressed bronzer. Very pretty packaging, love to see it. Let's see what the color looks like. Hopefully it's something that will work for my skin tone. And it is in the color cocoa, okay? Not cacao, but cocoa. Okay, look at that. That is super cute. This looks like it's actually full size. This is a nice little bronzer. I think it should go pretty well with my skin tone. You could kind of see it, it's right there. I ignore my other swatches. It's a nice little bronzer. I'm always happy to get another bronzer because the one I currently have is okay. It's not the best. So I am looking for, you know, my perfect bronzer. There's this one, very cute by Estate Cosmetics. The next thing in my little bag is by Pilar and it's a Gomaz Tendre Ice Pure Eau Cotton Arctic. Gentle scrub with Arctic cotton. I've never heard about putting cotton in your scrubs, but I mean, skincare is just getting creative at this point. The packaging is super cute. Y'all know I love me some pink. I like how like the label is kind of cut off right here. Instead of showing like the full length of the letters, it's just kind of cut off. I think that's so interesting. So it's just an exfoliant. I'm crusty and dusty at times, so I'm happy to get an exfoliant. The next thing is by Vital Vita 12, and it is a jelly cleanser. One drop for glowy skin. It doesn't say glowy skin, it just says glow skin. The skincare line containing 12 kinds of vitamins gives the radiant, gives the skin radiance. V12. This is what it looks like, cute little orange packaging. It's very difficult to read because it's like, first of all, I'm blind. Second of all, the white against this orange is just very difficult for my eyes. It says, use when washing the face, take an appropriate amount and fully lather, gently rub in the face, massaging motions. That didn't make no sense. Let me see, gently rub the face in a massaging motion and wash oil, uh, oil off. Okay, this part is not my fault because I can barely see See it. It's just so tiny, teeny tiny, and it's white against this orange, very difficult. All that to say, uh, wash your face with this. I have all these different open cleansers. Ooh. I can't tell if it smells like anything. Round two of rubbing cleanser into your skin. Ooh, it is jelly-like, that's fun. Ooh, it actually has like a really nice citrusy smell to it. I really like that. Okay, I'm rocking with it. That's nice. The next thing in here is Moisture Boost Cooling Marine Concentrate Serum by Tony Moly. It's got a cute little, what is that, whale? Cute little whale on there, very pretty. It's got like a cute little applicator like such. Let's go on another part of my arm. And it's just a little serum. It's very thin as serums should be. This one actually doesn't have a scent to it. I like things that don't have scents because what if I don't like the scent? And then I walk around and I'm just like, I stank because I put this serum on my face and it stank and I don't like the smell. So I love something that has no scent to it because then I could put whatever I want over it. It went into the skin very nicely. Since it's like a marine cream, maybe this will be my little swap out once I run out of my old lady cream. I can swap it out for this one because it might be a little bit cheaper. I'm just saying. The next item is bubble wrapped. This is by Saint Lux and it is a blush. I love that, it's so pretty. I love when you have like the mattes and then you put something glossy against it. It just makes it look very expensive. And it's called Cranberry Bliss. This is what it looks, ooh, you can see yourself. See yourself, see yourself. This is what it looks like. Ooh, I like that color. That is nice. 
It's nice and dark and deep. And it looks like it has a little bit of glitter to it. So you might even be able to use this and not put on a highlighter afterwards. This is really pretty and it comes with a mirror, which is nice. And it's actually a decent mirror. Okay, this mirror is reflecting. Very pretty. I actually really like that. That is nice. And that is the last thing in my little mystery Ipsy bag number one. I like that. That was a good little range of products. You got some scrubs, you got some stuff for your moisture, and then you got a cute little blush. Good job, Ipsy. Good job with this one. This one's nice. Moving on to the next one, we have this cute little bag and it is giving AKA. I love the little tassel and it's got like this more tote bag kind of material going on. I like this bag. This is really cute. Let's see what we got inside the bag though. This is the inside the bag popping like the outside the bag. This one is by Merci Handy <laughs> and it's a hand cream. Okay, I'm not opening this cause I have too many damn hand creams. It's called Dolce Vita. I'm gonna go ahead and pass this along to somebody else. It feels very full too. I got too many hand creams and not enough hands. The Bruh, is this the same thing I just got? Skylar Hydrating Body Lotion in Capri. Literally just got this. Hold on, Ipsy, what the hell? <laughs> Why are you putting two of the same product in different mystery bags? Por qué? Why? So I have one for me and one for someone else. Why am I getting two hand creams like in the same bag? Please switch it up. Like I love when you guys put a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of that. Not the same intentional product because it's like, why what am I gonna do with all of these hand creams? Uh, except for give them away to other people and then they're gonna be tired of getting hand creams. Be like, girl, we got all these hand creams. Switch it up, okay? Give me some highlights. Give me some blushes. Give me some contours. Give me give me some fragrances. Give me something different. And I don't even like fragrances like that. It, it'd just be better than five billion hand creams. <sighs> Moving on, thank you for coming to my TED Talk. The next thing is by New Co, and it is a Barrier Culture Moisturizer. Ooh, very simple packaging. Pre, post, and that's not what it says. Pre, pro, post biotics. So it's got all your biotics. Let's see what it says it's supposed to do. Apply to clean, uh, clean. Apply to clean skin. That's all it says. So I'm guessing it's just like a little moisturizer that you could use. It's got a nice safety seal, but it's one of those safety seals that's difficult to get off. Ooh, it started coming out right as soon as I opened it. Ooh, it feels really good. It has that typical like skincare smell, nothing crazy. I don't mind that because then you could actually put like the fragrance you want over it. This is nice. It went into the skin really good. My skin doesn't feel sticky. I'm glad to have that. The next thing looks like a cute little brush, like a little blending brush. Can never get too many of these. And I think I have another brush by the same company, LaRousse. This is what it looks like. And I love it because it has like these little ridges. I don't know if you could see that, but it's got like a nice little texture on the handle. I got one of these brushes in my glossy box, my little old glossy boxes. Last time it came disheveled, but this time it's nice and intact. Very nice. So I'm glad to have this beautiful tapered blending brush. You can never run out of blending brushes. And the last thing in here is by Color Lub. Color Lub? I don't know. Look at those letters and the way that is. I don't know how to read that. Is it just Color Lub? Color And it says Future of Color Nail Lacquer. It's in the color Bonjour Girl. Now you guys already know, I do not paint my nails. Any and all nail polish goes to my home girl. This is actually kind of cute, like off-white color. When it said bonjour girl, I'm not gonna lie, seeing this packaging and then bonjour girl, I was thinking it's gonna be some kind of like really fun, exciting color, but then it turns out to be something very neutral. <laughs> I think that is hilarious. It's made in the USA, okay, party in the USA. I like this and I will pass this along to my own girl so that she can do my nails with it. I mean, she can paint whoever's nails with it, but you know, my nails. That was everything in that second mystery bag. Now let's get into this third one. Now this is so cute. It looks like it's the the same print that they use for their refreshments. I love this design. I love this design, this color. I think this is so pretty. Let's go ahead and see what we got in her. <laughs> like I'm from St. Louis. This first thing that I'm pulling out is by Plum and it says Candy Melts Vegan Lip Balm. Love this packaging. That is super freaking cute. Ooh, I like the way this packaging is. Like, okay, so you rip the little thing and then it just opens up like this. And then you've got like your little lip balm. I think that is so cute. It's got nourishing plant oils and waxes, yummy all natural flavors. Flavors, so this got a taste to it. 
Ooh, sun protecting carrot seed oil. I didn't know carrot seed oil protected you from the sun. This is what it looks like. Get into it. Yes, I love that. Oh my God, it smells like candy. Hold up, Ipsy, you and me got a problem. Why the hell would you give me expired product? Can y'all see that? If you can't see it, I'll take a picture. It says that this expires the 1st of January, 2024. Now it is currently February, so this is expired than a mug. Not that I'm not gonna use it, because I mean, it's a, it's a lip balm. I probably won't be consuming it. I mean, you're not supposed to consume it, but this is expired. How dare you, Ipsy? How dare you send me something so expired? That sucks. I was hoping that because these aren't old, that they wouldn't be expired, but apparently they are. I'm not gonna, throw it away. I'm still going to use it. But still, I was hoping to get something fresh, new. The next thing in here is, ooh, it's got like the fluid in it. Cannabis foaming cleanser. Very interesting. Gently purifies and soothes for all skin types. Just removes impurities, makeup, and oil. Free of parabens, silicones, petroleum. No, that's not what that says. Pertrolatum, synthetic fragrances, and dyes. And this is by Cannabis. So uh, safe to it soon it has cannabis something in it like a cannabis oil or cannabis something essence I don't know because it is cannabis anything I will not be using it you girl is breastfeeding and I'm not trying to get the baby high not that it's gonna get the baby high I'm just saying I, I'm not gonna be using anything that has cannabis oil or anything like that in it I am gonna pass this along to someone and see if they like or would be interested in using something like that because I will not be using it nope no siree the next thing is by Af Aphrodite. Aphrodite. It took me a second, but my brain did put those letters together in the correct fashion. This is by Aphrodite and it is a secret of natural beauty olive oil face mask. Deep cleansing instant hydration with aloe, with aloe vera and spirulina extracts. This is what this looks like. The packaging is super freaking cute. I think that is adorable. I mean, it's just like a little face mask. Let's see if it has a scent to it. I mean, it's olive oil, so it probably won't have like a crazy scent to it. This arm is just like test subject numero uno. Yeah, it's just a little mask. Ooh, bruh, it smells like booty. <laughs> it smells like a fart. Like I'm not even joking, it smells like a fart. Like a fragranced fart. That is not pleasant. That is, does this have an expiration date? Is this old? Is that why? It stank? Maybe it's just because it's olive oil, okay? Maybe it's just because it's olive oil and it's just olive oil don't smell right in a mask. That smells like straight up booty juice. I, I don't know how I'm gonna like putting that on my face. When I do the face masks in the shower, I like when they smell good because then it adds to my shower experience. This is going to detract from my shower experiences, but if it does something nice to the skin, I I will suffer through it for the minimum amount of time. The next thing is in a cute little bubble wrap and it looks like a little eyeshadow quad, not quad, duo. Quad is four, this is clearly two. This is by Luna Magic and it looks like mine is broken. All that bubble wrap for nothing. As you can kind of see, it's a little bit broken. It's not so bad. That pigment is wild. Bruh, why is it when it's super pretty pigment, it comes destroyed? That is really pretty. Let me see how it swatches. Let's see, that's the brown. Ooh, that actually swatched really nicely. That blue is popping. The color is Friend and Monaco. We got a cute little eyeshadow duo. The last item in here is also bubble wrapped. Shayna B, Miami? Shayna B, Miami? Ooh, you can see yourself. Hey, this is really pretty. Blush or highlights? I'm thinking it's a highlight. Let's see, is it a highlight or a blush? Ooh, it's neither. Ooh, that is pretty. Look at that, you can see the little flamingos. The little flamingos in there, that is so Pretty. Okay, so it's just like a little eyeshadow duo. It doesn't say what the names of these colors are, but this is beautiful. They feel really soft. They look the same on camera. One is a shimmer, one is a matte. So you can probably do like a really simple, very simple eye look with this. I think these are really cute and they feel amazing. That shimmer is pretty. Pretty. Honestly, with these little duos, I'll probably use these for like when I go on vacation. I could put like little tiny little eyeshadow things in there. That way I'm not taking a big old honking palette on the road with me. That is everything inside of my little mystery Ipsy bags.
Next time Ipsy comes out with a mystery bag, I will purchase it. Just cause I love the excitement of not knowing how many hand creams I'm gonna get and what else is gonna be in the bag. If you like this content, you already know what to do. Like, share, comment, and definitely subscribe so you can become a Fae Bay. And I will see y'all with the next one. Deuces.